morning everyone this is Jeannie and welcome back to my channel this may be a long video because I'm going to have footage in it about the hurricane Hurricane Matthew this is the first day we've had electricity since um, Friday Friday I think it was and today is Monday morning so I just want to first of all thank the posse for your prayers I had very limited cell phone coverage so there, it's a group of women who we text these prayer requests and encouragements to each other and I just want to say thank you so much for everything for being there for being concerned and encouraging me that yes you can get through this and for my family um, I had did have limited cell phone coverage but at least I had a little bit it seems like the Wi-Fi would just disappear and, and I couldn't get out I couldn't get messages or anything but um, I'll just show you a little bit of what we went through how we prepared some of the storms some the of the night. damage a Thursday night before the hurricane we were in bed and we had finished battening down the hatches, getting everything out of the yard, all the debris off the porch, all my plants. We had our water stored up. We had our batteries and lanterns and generator in place, the gas bought. Thank goodness there were lines for gas. We were ready and we knew the hurricane was going to hit sometime early morning, like four o'clock in the morning. And I was laying there in bed trying to sleep and, and you, how can you sleep knowing a monster was coming to maybe wipe you out? We'd been through Charlie. That was massively destructive and scary. So I had memories of that. And this was supposed to be bigger than Charlie. Well, as I, as I was laying down trying to sleep, I prayed and I just felt I felt like God was speaking to me in my heart, my mind, I don't know, but I felt like he was saying to me, I'm bigger than this storm. This big storm is massive and it's destructive, but I'm bigger than this storm. God is bigger than any storm you're going through. And after I thought that and realized, yes, he is bigger than this storm, I fell asleep and I slept. I actually slept till about six o'clock in the morning, got up, had coffee. We still had our power. I was reading my devotions, thanking God for a good night's sleep. And then at seven o'clock in the morning, the lights went out, but we were ready and it was becoming daylight. So I felt like that was a blessing. Tuesday before Hurricane Matthew, this is our oak tree that we had tons of branches removed from. And here is our front yard oak tree it looks pretty bleak in the winter it's beautiful in the summer but those branches are pretty precariously dangling over the cars and we did remove a huge massive oak out front here and I'm glad we did this is before okay it's Thursday evening about 530 and we had some thunder and lightning, a lot of breezes. I think the little wind gusts are starting to come through for the hurricane, but so far, that's how it looks. Oh, it's hard to see.
Friday about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I believe, I believe the hurricane is in Daytona Beach. So we're getting the outer bands. We have no power. I'll keep you posted. Still getting gusts of wind. I think it's passing us by. Guys, I want to show you what Hurricane Matthew did. Can't get through here. Look at this. It's an oak tree that's crossing the road. But I mean, you know, they go, they go for long ways, but they have to stop. Yeah, yeah, and we did have to draw.
can't. I bet no. it's totally blocked. They have wires down. Oh, that's an uprooted tree. How are you going to get past that? I guess we have to go around. channel. Oh. Well, I might lose the old home. The hurricane is over. It's north of us now. It's Monday morning. But I feel like it's, it just stopped because we just got our power back and now we're trying to go back to normal. My husband is going next door to help our neighbor fix her well, um, we didn't have water either after the re electricity was restored because of the pump. We have to do something to it. And once that got back on, I felt like, okay, it's going to be normal again. Well, he's next door trying to help her get her pump situated. So, but there's so many more people who still haven't gotten back to normal yet. And my heart breaks for them because you can't get back to normal. I'm so spoiled. I just feel like I feel so grateful. When I woke up this morning, I burst into tears because I had power and I slept good because we had air conditioning again. And I don't know. I feel like I need to be more grateful for that for what I already have. So we are going to go out, have some lunch, but I, I was saying thank you so much for all of your prayers and your concerns. I appreciate that so very much. Um, what would we do without each other? That's all I can say. And Susan um, of Susan W., I hope you are okay up there in the hurricane. Carol of Uplifting Home, I hope you are okay also. I haven't heard from either one of you, but um, I'm going to go try to put this video together. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your prayers. Um, God bless you all. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.